we may want to process the first sound a little bit differently than the rest. So what we might do is all of the C1 notes, we might process them differently to the, the D1 and E1 notes that we've got happening there. So in order to do that, again, it's a matter of going into contact, just create another empty group, go into our mapping editor, and this first slice is the one we want in a new group, so we'll just go move to existing group, and we'll move that into the empty one. So again, this will allow us to edit that one slice differently to all of the others. So we'll just close up our mapping editor and we're going to use our group effects. So we might add maybe a little bit of, might add a little bit of saturation to all of the rest of the slices. And we might find an effect to put on our first slice as well. Might even add a little bit of distortion to that one. We've got a few, di few different options. We can select between tube or transistor distortion. We've also got drive and dampening controls for that one as well. It then gives us a couple of different textures within the same sound. So it helps to add a tiny little bit of interest. Just to help widen that up a little bit, we're going to add some reverb to that one. And we'll just find a random preset to chuck on that one. We might go for Mysterious. And we'll see what that one can do for us. And much like what we did with our string sound, we might also just add a chorus on our send. If we go to our send levels, As you can hear, just adding that tiny little extra something 